Okay, I'm doing an update on the epoxy uh, paint that I put on my garage floor uh, a few months ago. Right now we're in July. I think I did this in uh, December. So we're seven months, well, it's seven months into this. Um, if you uh, looked at my first, I think the, the one when I was struggling to, to get the uh, the sticky parts off i advise you basically don't do it anyways this is where i'm at um for the most part um the stickiness is there's no more stickiness uh, i think whatever residue was left got absorbed by the rest of the dirt but uh normally I keep my truck parked right here it's this stall right here so uh i barely move it and it does what it's supposed to do as far as the oil stain. So here's, I got drip on the oil. What it does do, I can just get a, a dry rag. See right there, that's right there. So it's not penetrating into the concrete. So paint, paint will do that. If you get this uh, paint and then you get a clear coat of paint, it's gonna do that, it's gonna protect your concrete. So that's what I normally gotta do. Simply because my truck sits there. Um, if you don't move the other vehicles, it's gonna drip a little bit. And my trucks, my truck sits here. I gotta get out of the garage every two, three weeks just to get out of here. And this is this is what I'm running into, which is what I don't like. You see those brown spots you see right there. I come over here at the entrance. Uh, you see right there, right there. So all that right there. Um, you can tell that's the second coat where it's clear. Uh, when we had some issues that were the first coat, see so, you know, all this right there, you can see. So it does look dingy. Now, uh, I want to say a couple of months ago, I did try to clean it off with just a, a scraper. I'm gonna have to look into this because I'm not sure why it's it's retaining the dirt. That's just sand and dirt that's embedded into the clear coat. Why I did that? I don't know. Uh, it wasn't sticky at the time I let it dry, uh, and I overlapped it with a second coat in some areas. So you can tell right here. Uh, let me see all that right there. The second coat. This is part of the first coat right there. So. That's part of the second coat. So you can tell in some of these areas where we went over it with the second coat, trying to get the stickiness out of here, um, the second coat seemed to clear it up. So you can tell right here, there's a line, there's a fine line right there. We had stickiness here. This is the first coat. Uh, my truck over here, this was really bad. But, uh, of course, I don't, uh, my truck is always sitting here, so you don't, you don't have the issues of walking walking uh, on it all the time, the truck's always in the way. So um, I'm gonna have to look into it to see what I can use to clear, at least get this shit off here. Sorry my language here, but anyways, I always say shit because everything turns to shit at some point. But um, if you have any suggestions, uh, I'm wanting to try something. I don't wanna obviously strip everything down. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna go down that road. Uh, but I do have regrets. So if you uh, stay away from the epoxy, more power to you, okay? Uh, I, I thought it didn't look nicer and everything, but is it worth it? No, it's not worth it. I would uh, I would definitely just put uh, a paint and a clear coat of paint and then just, just let it go with that. You know, my, my thing was, my thing is, it's just, I wanted the concrete protected from just drips of oil, which it is protecting it, but now I got to, figure out how I can clean that. I just finished sweeping it and, and using the blower to get all the sand out of here. So uh, that's my take on this. I gotta figure this out, but I'm not happy with it. Um, you get a professional, I had somebody ask me, would, it, you know, would a professional help? I think that they would be liable to, to come back and re-strip everything um, if, they, if you have issues with it. Now, will this, will this stuff arise later on if the job is not done right it may you know i'm not i don't i don't do this for a living it may come you know you might see that residue of dirt and sand embedded in that 
finished product later down the line. Obviously, this is just over seven months. So, um, your choice. And this is what happens when you try to paint over the stickiness. Uh, it'll crack, so it doesn't do any good. You got to strip everything down to the to the concrete, and this is where it's really bad, also. So, uh, obviously, this is just the one around the water heater, and I got some of the corners where it was all sticking. Now, uh, couldn't get it into it cleaned up enough. You see here, see it, it will crack. So, painting over the epoxy will not work. It'll just make things worse. There's another example right there. Just this little piece here. So I'm just giving you a heads up of uh, if you want to try this, you know, good luck to you. Now I will say the second time, for, I want to mention the second time I did mix the packages together. I did use uh, my drill. This is what I actually used right here. See, there's no, there's no mistake what you, what I bought. Let me see here. That's what I use. I bought two of those. Now the first, the first one I did mix it up the way it tells you to mix it up. You, you, you run from A to B I think on the packages and you mix it up well, which I did. I prepped the floor very well. It was all brand new. <clears throat> so it wasn't the prepping of the floor. It was a mixture to my opinion. In my opinion, it was a mixture of the epoxy with the paint. The second time I did it, I used uh, my drill with one of those paint, uh, uh, I don't know what you call it, one of those things that mix up the paint. So I poured it into a bucket the second time. Instead of using the packages, I cut the packages open, I poured both of them into the bucket, and I mixed them up and thoroughly mixed them up that way according to what I read some of the YouTubers also, maybe that'd be better. So I did that. Now that to me, that's the result I got the second time when I did that. So keep that in mind if you do plan to go ahead and try your luck. Mixing it up in those packages, oh, that, that might be the issue that happened with me. That um, second time I, I mixed it up with, uh, in a bucket and, and thoroughly mixed it up with, uh, with my drill and it uh, seemed to have cleared the stickiness. So anyways, Good luck. Uh, that was just an update on the epoxy floor.